I just got a recently interesting question. Um, one of my friends who I have dual booting between Windows and Linux found that comps is actually functional for him. It, you know, it lets him actually do more work or get more work done. And he wanted to know if there was any type of add-on programs or you know various desktop effects for Windows. And you know, it got me looking, and you know, I knew about Windows Blind, which essentially lets you theme stuff a lot more than your default Windows XP themes do. So. As I got lucky around, I found a few programs, some freeware, some paid for. The ones that I will show is Windows Blind. They have a essentially a Windows Blind's white version. There's certain things that will be blacked out that you can't use. But certain things like he wanted a desktop cube for Windows. Now, this has been recently bought and renamed to Workspaces for Windows. Um, as you can tell, I have different desktop wallpapers going on. That is one thing I did find. Now, WinFlip or Win is for Windows XP. I can do the exact same thing. The big one of the big touted features was Flip 3D for Windows uh, and Vista. And as you can tell, I'm doing it right now. Now, this can take a program top desk is actually very configurable because I can also change it. So that all these programs are actually, instead of using like the flip effect, I can actually change it to a spatula effect. As you can tell, all the programs just come together as one. That you know, that's just something I find actually useful. Um, then there's this other program. I'm not going to try to pronunciate it because I am horrible at pretending to sound, make words sound like I have no clue what the hell they mean. It is spelled. M A D O T A T E. Now, essentially, what this program does, normally you have, you know, you minimize. Normally, you have your minimize, you know, your maximize, and your close app. What this does is this actually adds another icon right before your minimize. And it minimizes as like a 3D transition. Then you click on it, and it brings it back into focus. Not extremely useful, but it can be um, for having you know a clear picture of how much you actually got going on. So that's some of them that I've been able to find. Um, these are all add-ons, so they add a lot of memory usage, for those people who are wondering. Um, like right now, the thing that takes up the most usage, other than my webcam right now, is Yodem 3D. My webcam is taking 43,684K right now. Yodem 3D, running idle, is running at 45,072k right now. And I 
I forgot to mention I also use the Rocket Dog program as well. This is just uh, so I can quick launch icons instead. And as you can tell, Top Desk is the next thing. Rocket Dog is next. The Madote program is way down towards the end at 5.112 kilobytes. That is very, very slow. So, those are just some add ons. Um, yes, they take up memory usage. I will not deny that. However, that again, comms takes up memory usage, just probably not as much. I have not benched comps for a while, so. That's just a few of them. Um, not, you know, if you. Top Desk is a pay for application. Window blinds is a P4 application. Um, you can also, if you want something that's similar to Windows blinds, is uh, Style XP. Um, I don't use it anymore as I've had issues with um, with it since I started running Service Pack 3. So I switched over to Windows blinds, which is provided by Stardock. So those are just some programs. Um, yeah, some people say they don't get function out of them. Some say they do. Others say, "What's the point?" Point is, you know, use experiment. It's the only way you gotta find if you like something. If you wanna know more? Let me know.